Hello everyone, in that video we will investigate how in Salesforce we could actually close a case after some time after case closure. So what we could do is we could do it with a flow in Salesforce and here is a, you could see how it could be organized. So let's get started and check uh, each and single part of it one by one. So first of all, it's we have here a criteria when the record is created or updated. And what we would like to do is run this particular flow on the after the record is saved event. So once it's done, we here I have one filter condition that at this moment, based on your requirements, what it's do, for example, based on my requirements, it's checking just if case was created or was updated to status equal to resolved. So once it's done, what I would like to do is I would like to run scheduled pass. So what this scheduled pass should do, it's based on the offset number of hours that I have after. So here I just for your information it could be before it could be days before it could be days after some event but in my case it's enough to just close the case six hour uh, after the case was changed to this particular resolved status so once it's done what we would like to do is we just get in that uh, record where id equal to that record where we get this situation and based on it what we are doing here it's just uh, working with the variable values we are setting it to the necessary status and once it's done what we are doing here is we just performing an update of our actual case records to the necessary status so by this way this simple flow allowing us to update our resolved cases to the closed uh, once some period of time will be finished so that's it